Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We are doing something a little bit different today. We got Guggen Bates everywhere, so you know I'm actually in a, a good place. We're with Kyle. If you guys Hello. remember him, we filmed two videos recently together. Um, but he owns his own bait company, which is directly those are your baits, correct? Yeah, Northeast Baits. Yeah, so I'll leave those linked down below if you guys want to go check them out. But once he told me he had his own bait company, I really wanted to make a video and like show you guys how to make your own baits because before I even started YouTube, I would go on YouTube and like watch videos on how to make your own baits and like I was so close to like buying the molds and all that stuff and I just ended up not doing it because it's like, it's a tedious process and you need patience, uh, which I have, don't get me wrong, but I just never ended up pulling the trigger on it. So this is my opportunity to bring you guys along and go over how to like make your own baits and whatnot. You guys can see the molds and I don't really know what we're gonna make just yet, but I'm really excited. We're in his nice little garage thingy magic going on, his little workshop. Um, but yeah, if you guys wanna go check out his YouTube channel or his bait company, it'll be linked down below. Code Becca for everything online. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. There's not a code back on his website. Take it over, Kyle. All right, so this one, you got the uh, Creature creature uh, trailer. These are really nice. Good little floppy paddle tails. Which is, do you have? They're right here. I just made them for the first time the other day. Yep, so that's the one that he just showed you, which is so sick. So they all take, um, 48 hours to cure once you shoot them. Then next up we have uh, this is the swimmers, the rigid. Those are really nice. So those come out looking. Well, I got these packs. Like so they got a little so tail and everything. And then I have scents and salt and every other thing to put on them. Then you got core shot neds, but you can uh, just shoot normal neds if you don't want to do a core shot. So you go over here, those are the Neds. They have little B, uh, bars that you can stick in the middle. So if you want multicolor, you can. Like that is clear outside, red middle. I know it's kind of pointless. I could have done the whole thing red, but I wanted to experiment. It looks cool. It does look cool. <laughs> I approve of that. Yeah, this one is a uh, blue middle, red outside. Oh, that's like a <laughs> firework firecracker. Yeah, What's that bait color really name? Good. Yeah, that one's sick. Then, of course, you got the creature baits, the little bug crawlers. These things are great if you want a Texas rig or even chop half the body off, use it as a trailer. I know a lot of people do that. Then over here, I'm not quite sure on what this is called. I have them. I call it the leech mold because that's exactly what it looks like. Walleye looking bait, drop shop, yep. dang yeah. Yeah, it's a finesse for sure. Definitely a finesse. Yeah, that's a sick <laughs> mold. These molds are pricey. I mean, just get into shooting baits, depending on what you do. Yeah, it's it's very expensive to make baits like this. Like That's the finesse one. Yep. Yeah, it, it's expensive depending on what you get. I mean, you could go with these molds. These ones are just the uh, sandcast ones. They're, they're all right. They don't have a good finish, which is why I sprayed engine enamel <laughs> all over my Senko mold. And now I'm having trouble with it. But they said it would be a better finish. So they were wrong are the more expensive ones I think I got like fifteen hundred dollars set up into this bait shop already Which is I've, crazy. I've been at it for like a few months not even you, you <laughs> gotta spend money to make money That you do I tell that to myself every single time oh. I go to order tackle. I'm like it's an investment It is. An <laughs> it's an investment As you see I got tackle everywhere. Yes. Oh, yeah Guggen Bates <laughs> big Guggen Bates guy have you used the dart yet? I have. I have I not. I got one like rigged up right here. I just ordered a bunch. Oh, on a drop shot? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> sick. Okay. I'm, I grabbed a bunch. I'm heading on a trip soon, which you guys aren't going to find out where, but uh, next month I'm heading on a trip and I ordered a bunch because you know where I'm going, right? Yeah. It would work so well there, like I in the canals would, and yeah. stuff. So that's why I ordered a bunch of the darts. Anyways, you guys don't know. It's fine. Totally fine. Um, Shoot, I have to pick I have to pick a mold that I want, huh? You know, we could shoot every mold if you wanted to. I really like those swimmers. Those swimmers are so cool. Yeah, they're nice. Like, that is so sick. And I can like net rig that if I wanted to, drop shot it, put they're it not on a that trailer. Big, as you see, but yeah, exactly. Three inch, but they work. No, three inch is my favorite. <laughs> That's literally <laughs> yeah. my favorite. But cause uh the Ketchco uh, what's the name of that swim? Exo swim. Uh, the Exo swim. They have in 3.25 inch or something like that. Yeah. They're like the only company that makes that size. Yeah, and it's my favorite. 
I even tie my own flies. I got the fly tying set up over there. Dude, do you fly fish? Right here. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, look, Guggenrod. Guggenrod, yep. Haha, <laughs> Guggenrod, baby. The setup is so dope. Yes, I wish I, I had all this. all the fly tying feathers over there. Guggen packs. These are my Mondo saltwater lures right there. That's a big plug. <laughs> that's that's a big one. Then you got all the glitters, dyes, more dyes, scents, oils, dual injectors, injector salts. Then you got temp guns. Oh, that temp gun is sick. Does it work on your face? No. <laughs> I wish it did. It, it's so weird because it shoots different. It's not like a sick temp gun. It can't tell your face temperature. It only tells. It, like it's set for like 300 something degrees. I then over your here, face is not 300 degrees. I would hope not. That's different soft plastic paint. So if you want to do like tail dips, Ooh. those are nice. That's sick. Okay. I could dig that. We got the Mondo Optics. Mondo Optics. We got Mystery Tackle Box. More over there. <laughs> What's the. <gasps> That's dried up, yeah. You save all the uh, meltdowns for remelts. So right here, I got That's a whole smart. draw full of remelts that I can just remelt down really fast and shoot a fast mold instead I of making like it from that scratch. Red. That, red is that red came out nice. This color is weird. Yeah, yeah. I kind of <laughs> like it, but this one. That's a weird one, but that's sick. And then this is a homemade color that my fiance actually came up with. It's, that's my I favorite. Call it, we call it Dirty Penny. That's my favorite. I like that one a so lot. So the Dirty Penny's like that. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's sick. That's my favorite out of And you got pink. You can't go wrong with pink. No, pink Never. is so good. Pink is like one of the most underrated uh, colors of all time. Oh, look, that's exactly what I was just about to compare that color to. The Dirty Penny was this. Yeah. The XO stick the or whatever. Those are tired rods. Yeah. But I can't see throwing them away, so like, they just sit there. These Dude. are the good ones. These are the active for Oster. Yeah, you're <laughs> dialed. The ceiling and everything, like every inch of this place is sick. Yeah. What's uh we and then we microwave stuff, right? Yeah, microwave. <laughs> so that's how you heat up the plastics. Yep. When we're making it from scratch, which I'll show you how to do, we go into this. This is a um degasser. So it takes all the air out of the bait. Is it bad if there's air bubbles in your bait? Uh it makes the bulk the bait more soft and fragile. So like I believe I threw this one in here because it had an air bubble. Yeah, so you got a tiny one right in here, so it's a uh. hole. And then sometimes they get big, like that one's chunked up, missing, and then it, with the air bubble, you, you can just easily go like that. Okay, so not the move. <laughs> yeah, it's not a strong, strong bait. <laughs> we only make the best quality baits out here. And then now I have dual injectors with that just came in, so we can shoot two colors into one mold, which turns out like that. With, or like the XO, the XO stick right here, like two sides. Yep, so that's a custom order right there. Uh, can I just, touch it? Yeah, someone just ordered it. Okay, see, so he that's wanted red and blue. I, that is so fly. Tell him I'm taking his order. I actually got to make another one of that because someone else saw it and wants it. <laughs> I'll take one too. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. I Don't sell mind all the bags for $6. Six bucks? That's not bad. That's like a pretty average so the price. Bugs come with six. I try to do what the mold makes. So the bugs make three. So three and three, I double it. That's six. Yep. That's um seven. So with the bug, with the swimmer mold it goes from there's five in there yes but you can shoot two like that oh so, so two one has on two on the side so i just shoot the two yeah and it produces the seven for me gotcha and the neds they shoot 10 so 10 comes in a bag yep the finesse they shoot 10 so 10 comes in a bag the Cinco's shoot four so i put eight in a bag i double the mold yep good idea on that <laughs> so that nothing goes to waste it's makes sense and you're not losing money that way yeah true that true that and it makes your job a little bit easier too how long it does. does it take so you make the bait which is what like uh making the bait if you're making from scratch instead of a remelt mm -hmm. it takes typically about 20 to 30 minutes oh that's not bad but then you have to cure it for 48 yeah once it's once it's done you lay it down and so you, there's yeah. different ways of carrying you can toss it in water yep which I don't know how efficient that is. I know Larry Melton Jr. does that. Yeah, which I've seen, yeah I've seen that on his channel oh, you too. You can lay it on a flat metal tray like that, which yep. stays nice and cold. 
so it hardens it and stiffens it. So you won't yep. lay them straight because if they're not, then they'll cure sideways or in the way that oh. they're laying. So is that why when I leave my bait out in the sun, it get it like it will literally change the shape of the bait. Yep. Okay, it's that makes so much sense. <laughs> that and makes so much the sense. The new way that everyone's been doing it is hanging it. So I just got these so I can hang them when I first do it. I'm gonna do that and they'll just hang. Yeah. So that they cure straight like that. Buddy's legit over here. He's got the whole setup. I'm so excited. All right, should we pick a color? I'm just jacked yes, right now. You got I'm so excited. Every color you can think of. There's colors over there, so. Yeah, flipping blue, I believe that is white, pink. Yeah. Over here we got plateau, something like that, blue. You got watermelon. Okay. Cinnamon. Cinnamon done. Black. I'm doing cinnamon. <laughs> yeah, red bug. We also have fluorescent, and then I got baby bass, I believe, somewhere in here. Green pumpkin. You got everything, but you want. But cinnamon? I want to. Well, I'm doing a the swimmer so do i really want the swimmer in a cinnamon i've never seen that before i've never but you know but that's also another good reason why we should totally do totally this try yeah 100 <laughs> percent. so we're doing the swimmer in cinnamon yes oh my god that's so and thick. then you could do sinking salt or no salt this is fine so just it's very fine salt there's yeah. different kinds so a little bit of the salt goes pretty that doesn't do a lot okay so the more salt you add the more it's gonna sink and the more weight to the bait yeah it, it I depends don't know. how you how you throw yours like when i throw my swimmers yeah i put them on a weighted swim bait hook yeah and I uh, them that way. well if i do i'm usually on like a jig head or something <laughs> that's the other way i do it too so do you what do you, you do you put a lot of salt in yours for the weight or no you just i don't put a lot of salt like okay so let's just Guggen. They, they load it with salt. Oh yeah, Guggen <laughs> Guggen says I'm just gonna drown everything in salt, which is fine. Is I fine. respect that. I tried to do remelts of Guggen baits. Yeah. When I first to set up, before yeah. I have dyes and everything, so I had a whole bag here full of Guggen baits. Yep. I took all the colors that I wanted, melted it down. So much salt in the Guggen baits, it exploded my mug. My <laughs> <laughs> Good for Guggen's. Holy crap. I, I was sitting here, I was waiting for it to cure, and then all of a sudden the glass just explodes. You can't say shit about Guggen Bates. Because you know they put a. Like, you can literally just see. You don't even have to lie. Like, yeah. there's just so much salt in that. You can see it flake right off. It's, it's cool, though, because that's what bass like. The second they get that salt on their, on their mouth right there, they love it. Oh, yeah, me too. And then you, at the end, we could do worm oil or scent oil the scent smells phenomenal it's almost like a guggen scent okay um let's try to be guggen baits today and i'll go with the warm one then that smells like guggen yeah that <laughs> that does smell like guggen yeah okay my, my I favorite like that. scent i like that let me smell this one that one has no smell it's just more like an earthy thing yeah no we don't like that we, <laughs> <laughs> we want that guggen we smell we want that guggen smell <laughs> All right, yeah. All right, we got. I'm not out here trying to copy Guggen, but no, but we all know, you know, they're they're we pretty legit. <laughs> Guggen's awesome and all, but like doing stuff like this and like supporting a smaller business is so sick. Highly recommend it. Like anytime I go to like a bait and tackle shop, I always try to find like companies I've never seen before, oh, and yeah. I always buy them. I'm like, okay, I've never heard of this. Half the time they're pretty good too, so I'm just saying. So if you want more than one mold in cinnamon, we'll, we'll make a mug like this. Okay, what's another mold that we think is gonna kill it this year, this time of year? That the trailer on like a maybe I'll do the little the chunk thing, the the, the mini trailer, trailer, the creature yeah. trailer, and cinnamon though. I've never seen it in cinnamon. That's why we do it though. That's why exactly. <laughs> it, it could be the most fire thing ever. It, that's exactly <laughs> what I'm saying. Because the cinnamon lunker log is my favorite thing in the entire world. So why not make everything just cinnamon today? And you don't shoot molds cold. Okay. So that's why I got a little heater. That thing is so sick. You ice fish, right? Yeah. That thing's good for ice I fishing. Got, uh, I got my lip up right over that. Oh. <laughs> There's just one random golf set because I haven't put it back in the basement. Or you can take that golf set and bring it to a golf course and fish a golf course pond. Oh, just stop instead. Just leave like one driver in it and stop with fishing. Pools. Yes. And now you're thinking like pond. Becca. Now you're thinking <laughs> like me. So I got different class of soles. This one's a medium. This is top of its market. 
Yeah, you get like the high quality stuff, don't you? Cause yeah. that's why, um. So this is Cahoon. It is yeah. the most expensive class assault on the market. And you said, I'm gonna get it cause I want to make good baits. Exactly. Yeah. I don't like to cheap out. You want quality. Quality. So for, I'm buying a five gallon bucket of this and it's gonna run me $130. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> a gallon goes for about 40 and other plastic soles like this one, this is a soft one. Mm -hmm. That goes for about 25 to 30. Okay, that's yeah, that's the norm because when I did like <laughs> research on the stuff, I was looking at like those and they were like 20 but to 30. I, this is also like a softer blend. So you could do soft or you could do medium. I like the medium yeah the soft is more wobbly and stretchy like this that's the soft okay and, and it just breaks it just breaks and yep. then you get like over here these are the new ones that's medium you could stretch on that all day and that's not even fully cured yet. what does z-man use <laughs> you know how you know their things are like insanely stretchy yeah. i've caught a million fish on one z-man bait before it's insane or there's a koshi bugs the same exact way the elastic stretch whatever yeah some fancy shebang i don't even know all right how do we get this started so we're gonna make two different molds so that's gonna be too low for us we're gonna go with the big boy oh, okay okay <laughs> go big or go home go big or go home so you want to shake that thoroughly because everything sits at the bottom i just want to play with this it's fun <laughs> like, <laughs> like you can feel the difference in that bait yeah is this medium yeah, that's medium. Hold on, let me. And then the soft is right here. Yeah, let me. All right, ready? Watch this. Soft. Medium. <laughs> <laughs> Way harder to break. Yep. Way harder. Quality, baby. So we're going to do probably about four cups. Looks like milk. It does. Have you drank it before? I can't say I have. I mean. <laughs> Making this clear is fun though, because it go you heat up in the microwave. The second it hits 350, it'll go from this to crystal clear. Oh, that's sick. So you always got to get everything up to temp. So what I do first, go over to the microwave. I always unplug everything. Goes right in. I start it for two minutes because the glass is cold, so that just gets it warm. And then I toss it in for another four because when you start it like this, you got to get it straight up to 350 degrees before you put it in here. Oh, what is, what is that? The degasser. Oh, that's what <laughs> takes the air bubbles out. Yeah. Okay, okay. I've had a little over. We're learning. In here before, but. Wow, this is such a sick little setup. I'm jealous. Yeah, I mean, I got the the man cave signs. Yep. Gone hunting, be back soon to go fishing because I also hunt. You know, we should go hunting because I don't hunt and I feel like people will really like, isn't it turkey season? Oh, it's coming up, yeah. Okay, well, I know it's tur turkey season in Texas, so yep. I'm guessing we have a different turkey season. We have spring turkey and fall turkey. Turkey creep me out. They're weird. They're weird looking. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, the bags that I used to bag everything. This is like the business draw where I write down orders and have my decals because you got to get decals for the bags. Yep. Yep. Then I got my normal decals that I sell to everyone, and then I keep all my receipts in here. <clears throat> I'm gonna tell Guggen I quit and then make my own baits. Do you think they'd be okay with that? Ooh. Probably not. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I would never leave Guggen. I love you guys. <laughs> oh. So don't put my finger in that because it's really hot. It's not that hot yet. So right now we're gonna take a temp. You want to mix it around because it'll get the, all the temp that's in the middle out. So yeah, right now rises. it's at 210 degrees and so we want it 350. 350. okay so we put her back in yep that's uh, you know what i miss i miss my beard your beard <laughs> grow it out <laughs> get it going i shaved it the other day my parents are like i want you to shave like you did for prom five years ago oh uh, well. i was like i was skinnier and a lot better looking five years ago <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you expect from me come on Looking at 247. We gotta go. We gotta I'm keep gonna it going. I'm gonna toss it in for like five minutes. There you go. It got so much clearer. That has to be like toasty, huh? Mm. Oh, oh we're close. Three, and then that's what happens. It globs up. So what are we thinking? Like another three minutes in the microwave, and it's 
Gonna reach 250, a 350, 350. 350, yeah, I think another two minutes. And then we kind of, this is the tedious process because once I get up to temp, we'll add glitter, which you haven't picked out yet. Yep. Dyes, mix it in, then we go straight to here, degas it, put it back in the microwave, get it back up to temp. If we didn't get all the air out, re degas it, put it back in the microwave, <laughs> and then we're good to shoot it. <laughs> God. <laughs> All right, I'm into it. Let's do it. Uh, we got different glitters, so uh, whatever you think you would like with cinnamon. Let me get some light in here. Oh. Boom! So we got uh, chartreuse. Yep. We got silver. Mhm. Mm royal blue. This one is uh, the golden holographic. <laughs> this is light gold hex. Emerald green. And then poly glitter. I like the golden holographic. Golden holographic, it is. Yes, golden cinnamon. I can see it now. Boom. It's gonna look so good. That's the combo. Yes, sir. I'm so excited. Shout out to Lurworks for being one of the best uh, bait making things to buy from. <laughs> Sponsor me. Hot. Yeah, so you you definitely burn yourself a lot. I would burn myself every single time, hands down. I mean, after this, I, I'll let you shoot the molds and everything. I'm just starting the process, so oh. we're at 369. 369, and that's how it peels right off, just like that. Sweet. So now. Yes, cinnamon. cinnamon. Yes, 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 yes. You want to dip it in? Yeah, of course okay, I go do. Go for it. What do I do? Uh, for four cups, you want to do like, I don't know, just squeeze and toss this stop. Okay. I forgot the ratio. She's the one that knows the ratios. All right, we should try that. The good? Yeah. <laughs> Comes out like, oh, it's going to come out beautifully. I just know it. It's a little sun, man. Glitter. See, that is sick. That's the best part. <laughs> <laughs> that honestly smells so good, though. Really? I like that. You don't like it? <laughs> the plastic smell? Yeah. I like that. You know, you should be wearing a face mask, but... Okay, yeah, we're, yeah. We're, Tip. we're savages. Yep. 348. Pretty good. It's coming out so good. And then it's always darker like this until it dries. Yep. But. I've done my fair share of video watching on this. I know that it looks different when it's done. So that's not the color it's going to be when it's done. Now it's the part that I always burn myself on. Okay, don't do that. 10 times bigger than this. <laughs> Should have bought a bigger pot. Or gloves. Or gloves. Ow. 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 Nice. Where are you? So this is a tedious process. You want the gauge to hit negative 30. Okay. So sometimes it takes a little, oh, I forgot to plug it in. That would help. <laughs> that would help. That would help a lot. I would think. So least. that gauge you want to hit negative 30. Okay. So you close that, kick the pump on. So you're gonna see that rise and bubble. It takes all the air out. Oh, you can see it happening. It's almost at negative 30 already. It, sometimes it takes forever. Really? So see how it's rising? Oh my god. <laughs> I stop it before it overflows like that. Oh, I had spillage. A lot of spillage and now I can't see. So. Oh god. Rip. Recipes. <laughs> Vape life. Vape life. I'm just kidding. Don't vape. Biggest vape cloud ever. You can hot box this whole place. People are like, what are they doing? You're like, dude, we're just making fishing baits, I swear. So now I can kind of see it again. Okay. Come on, negative 30. Get to that negative 30. And there's the bubbles again with all the splat. Yep. Oh. Oh. Oh, this might be the easiest one I've had. There goes the mug sliding. <laughs> 
Yeah. This is so cool. I feel like a mad scientist. I do feel like that. I feel like we're like Bill the Science Guy. Yeah. Bill, <laughs> Bill, Bill, Bill. Bill now the Science, the science Guy. guy. Boo, boo, boo. He's actually like the dopest dude ever in real person too. Real life, not real person. Don't get smoky on me. I like to see. Rip. <laughs> oh, just a little bit. <laughs> Not a biggie. Rip. <laughs> oh, the pot's a mess. Double rip. <laughs> Double, Double rip. rip. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice. And now I got a messy pot. Oh my god, that is hot. <laughs> How did you do that? I work on boilers all day. Okay, yep, there you go. That's, that's I'm a good. little used to heat. Okay, so next process is we have to get it back up to back 350. Back up to temp as long as it didn't drop. So okay. We'll find out in a second. And then after 350, we drop her in the mold? Yep. She only dropped a little bit. Yeah. Not bad. Not too bad. What is it, 340? 340. So we put her in for like a minute? Yeah, I just got plastic everywhere. I always do that. That is the worst mistake ever. Why is it hot? <laughs> <laughs> Kyle! <laughs> no! Oh God. Hot. Yeah, so uh, wear gloves and masks while you do this. Yeah, please just don't take this as a safety hot, video. Hot. Um, OSHA approved. Oh, I, I'm OSHA 10 <laughs> certified. Are you OSHA 10 certified? I actually, I did the 10 hour class for OSHA 10. Yeah, I'm almost OSHA 10 certified. I would get my certification ripped away if they saw this. <laughs> They'd be like, <laughs> dude, come on. Oh, we are there. Exactly. Hey, look at us. We might know what we're doing. Might. So, we're going to do single injector. See, this is the part that I've always thought was sick. You slurp it up in there in the tube. And you go boom. You stop when you feel that pressure. What it, you yeah. just hold it. And then I typically count in my head, but I always lose track. You rip it, you plunge that back in mm -hmm. before it clogs up the injector. Cause then it'll take forever to get out. Okay. Now you see air is getting into the mold. Yes. So you top it off, which this I make a mess everywhere every time. Light work. That wasn't bad. Look at you. I would have made a mess on that. To speed up the process, we're going to take the dual injectors apart. Now we got a single injector. Wait for that pressure. The next batch, I'll have you inject it all. Oh God, okay. The injectors get a little hot, so I hold it to the top. <laughs> Good idea. And top that one off fast. Come on. Yeah. There you go. Oh, that one's going down. Next injector. This is why it's good to have multiple injectors. You can do multiple things at once. That is very true. Because you can't, I haven't been able to get to use the same injector twice in a row. How long do you hold it once you feel the pressure? Uh, you hold it for typically five to 10 seconds. Okay. I just hold it until I think it's good before the injector clogs on me. <laughs> I rip it off, plunge it back into here. And then you you want to stop s short because it'll plunge that nose into that which I've had happen multiple times. <laughs> then it sucks to fish that out. This seems like such a hard process to clean up too. Oh, it's super easy. Really? It all peels right off. Oh, true. Once it dries, I feel like it's like, there we go. So topped off, topped off, and then topped off. Yeah, the second it's dry, yep. even on this wood, it just peels off. Oh, okay. So never mind. And then with the injector like this. Mm -hmm. 
Oh my god. Let me, can I play with it? Yep. Is it hot? It's a little hot. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, so that's good. I typically just peel that like that. Get that nice and loose. <laughs> that's so sick. Cinnamon. Cinnamon gold. And then you literally just pluck them off. <laughs> so cool. Instant. I think I did pretty good on picking out the colors. I'm impressed. And then you got the next one. Oh, these are the swimmers. This is these gonna be so are what you've been waiting for. So what you do with these, you, you lay just them out. Lay them out completely straight or as straight as you can get it, because they do dry on how they're laid. Got it. That and bagging suck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go, the swimmers. So I just get that all loose, because sometimes they're a little hard to open. You'll see with the uh, uh, aluminum molds. Dude, yes. Then you got swimmers. I want to peel them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it literally just peels them. That's so sick. Oh my God, these things are adorable. And then what I do with stuff like this, because those ones you don't do need it as much because there's not much to fill. Yep. I hold it to the light and I squish them around. You check for air bubbles. That's a good idea. What do you do when there's air bubbles? You just trash them? You trash it and you make another batch. I'm so impressed with my color picking. <laughs> Who said you can't make cinnamon freaking whatever? Cinnamon lunker log? No, mm -hmm. cinnamon swimmers. Cinnamon swimmers. When it's more dry, it just peels off instantly. That's so satisfying. Have you ever like seen those videos on like Facebook, like TikTok, and it's just like satisfying videos? She posted one. On she posted one on Did it do good? Yeah, actually. Oh, <laughs> oh stop trying to burn yourself. <laughs> Every two seconds. Ah. Oh, Alright guys, we're wrapping things up here with Kyle. These are all the baits right here. Well, these are the ones that we did in this one. The top row is not from us today, but um, drop in the comments down below if you want us to go fishing with these baits. I think it would be really cool. Or we could do like Guggen baits versus his baits type of thing. Who do you think is going to win? Guggen. <laughs> <You think? laughs> Don't sell your short. I make Don't... good quality baits, but I mean, Guggen's Guggen's. Yeah, no, I think I think you have a solid shot. Those baits are so clean looking. But um, yeah, we're going to wrap things up here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. It was sick. I've always wanted to do something like this. I've always seen it on YouTube, and I've always watched videos on it, but I've never myself done it, so it was really cool. If you guys want to go check everything out that Kyle does, it'll be linked down below, like I said earlier. But yeah, that's all I got. I love you guys, and I'll catch you guys next time. That's nice. yeah. Rack it up, rack it up. I got a bit of the bank to make me a safe house. Shake it up, shake it up. She got her hands on her knees, and she bringing the cake out. Smoke it up, smoke it up. I got some gas, some packs. I'm up in the greenhouse. Ball it up, ball it up. I'm with the gang. We taking shots off the rebound. Fucking my post to say now. I've been humble too long. Yeah. Tell them all to stay calm. Yeah.